Last time I mentioned we might do the 630 cage or the 315 cage, but I think our best bet to start out and keep it simple, because there's only one combination that'll work here, is the 48 cage. The only possible factors are 8 and 6. Of course, 48 has other factors, but you can't use them. If you used a 2, you would have to multiply it by 24, and 24 won't fit. Right? Since we're using only two cells, we're very limited. But since we have two cells and two and only two digits, and each set is repeated in each cell, that eliminates the possibility of these numbers appearing anywhere else in this row. Because if this turns out to be an 8, this will be a 6. And if this is a 6, this will be an 8. And that means, in either case, 8 and 6 will appear here and can't appear here. So, that means that we can go ahead and erase the 8 here, because it cannot possibly show up here. And that also means that uh, if it can't be here, then we can't have an 8, 9, and 8 add up to this 25. So we might as well get rid of, or we have to get rid of this 9 and this 8. So we've eliminated a couple of things, and that's pretty cool, because that means now we have found what's definitely going to be here, the 5 times 1. I'm going to erase it just so I can write it bigger. And when I write it bigger, That means that those are absolutely the answers unless I've messed up in a massive way. And I don't think I have messed up in the massive way. Which is good because that also gives us the opportunity right now to get rid of the 5 that's up here. Because if there's a 5 here, it can't possibly be here. Oops. And if there's a 5 here, there can't possibly be a 5 there. And if there's a 1 here, we can't possibly have a 1 there. So we've eliminated a whole bunch. Now, every time you eliminate something, this is a good clue. You probably know this if you're doing 9 by 9 Ken Ken, but maybe somebody doesn't. It's a good thing to keep in mind, though. Every time you erase something from a cell, you should check all the other digits. Every time you erase things from a cage, you should check all the other digit cells in the cage and their digits to see if they've been affected by what you've erased. I call that an ecology check because it checks the ecology and sees if, if uh, anything's changed, if there have been any consequences that changes the outcome. Let's see what I mean by that. Look at this 2. Can we still use a 2? Well, yes, we can because 2 divided by this 1 would give us 2. Or 2, yeah, div uh, 4 divided by this 2 would give us 2. Any, as long as there's at least one way that this 2 will work, you leave it there. 3, would that work? Well, 3 minus 1 would work, and this 3, if you divide it into this 6, would work. Either 1 would give us 2. So as long as 1 works, this 3 is good. This 4, we can subtract this 2 from this 4 to get this 2, so this 4 works. This 6 can be divided by this 3, or it can you can have this 4 subtracted from it. Either 1 will give us 2, so this 6 is still good. Now this 7 Aha! Uh -huh. See what, what I'm getting at? This 7 can't be used because we had a 5 here before, which made this 7 possible. We subtracted the 5 from the 7, and we could get 2. There's no 5 to subtract anymore, so we can't use this 7. So we're getting rid of masses of stuff now. And since there's no 5 here, we can't use this 7. So it's good that we did the ecology check. A lot of people, when they're beginning with uh, Ken Ken, don't do this ecology check, and that's what messes them up. They leave things in that they f that will will mess them up later. Okay, so it's a good thing we did that. Is there anything else we can definitely get rid of right now? Not at the moment. We'll save the next for the next lesson. That'll be lesson number five. This was lesson number four.